My name is Oksana and I come from Russia. I am a young researcher in the field of biology and physics. In my research I study blood cancer, leukemia and pathology which may precede the leukemia, such as myelofibrosis. The bone marrow is a spongy area inside our bones where blood cells are produced. If patient has myelofibrosis, his bone marrow is replaced by disordered extracellular matrix, which composed of collagen and other macromolecules, which may give rise to leukemia through proliferation of leukemic stem cells. Indeed, leukemic stem cells are maintained in niches, which constitute of extracellular matrix and stromal cells, which maintain leukemic stem cells in quiescent, non-dividing state and cancer treatment, like chemotherapy, will not eradicate these slow-dividing cancer stem cells. So they will be responsible of relapses, which are of poor prognosis. One part of my project is dedicated to study the... One part of my project is dedicated to study the interactions between leukemic stem cells and stromal cells in the niches. Indeed, we think that we can inhibit the interactions between these cells in order to detach leukemic stem cells from the niches and to sensitize them to treatment. My experiments, I use a model made of mouse stromal cells and human leukemic stem cells. These cells I stain with antibodies against adhesion molecules and fluorophores. With two cameras, I can see the bright spots corresponding to the adhesion molecules on both cell types. Uh, after, acquired videos are analyzed with dedicated MATLAB code. Then we can compute the relevant parameters about these interactions, such as the number of interactions, their durations, and other parameters allowing us to describe the dynamics of these interactions. The second part of my project is dedicated to find a technique which will allow to pathologists to uh, faster examine the grade of myelofibrosis uh, without any staining required. It is also a possibility to automate the examination process to exclude any human factor. The technique is based on collagen feature to transmit polarized light in a different manner depending on the number and the position of collagen fibers. Even though cancer is one of the leading causes of death in the world, in the range of 30 to 50 percent, so each second or third case of cancer can be prevented by avoiding uh, risk factors such as uh, smoking, alcohol abuse, being overweight with lack of physical activity, eating processed red meat with low fruit and vegetables, unhealthy diet, ultraviolet radiation and ionization. Choosing our lifestyle, we always play Russian roulette with cancer. But again, I'm not. Ah, c'est bien. It's, it's okay? It's okay. We stopped? We finished? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>